Hi everybody, it's my turn to do the Keeping Winton Busy Challenge. So today, because it's Easter, I thought I'd make an Easter craft. So we are going to be making an Easter bunny bookmark. It just looks exactly like this. It's really easy, just a little bit of folding and a little bit of decorating. So you will be needing a pen and a ruler to make your perfect square to start yours off. Then I've got some pink post-it notes for the inside of my ears, but you can use coloring pencils or another pink piece of, pe piece of paper. I've got um, a Sharpie to do my eyes and my teeth. I've got some sellotape, again, you could use glue, and I've got some little stickers to do my teeth, but again, you can use some white paper and stick it on with some glue. Right, to start off, you're gonna need a perfect square. So I'm gonna use my ruler and I'm gonna measure 15 centimeters from either side so that we know it's gonna be a perfect square. It's really, really easy to do, just obviously find 15 centimeters on both sides. And then I'm just gonna draw a line up to meet. And then you should have a lovely square in there. I then need you to cut it out. So if you cut around the sides there, and then the pink we're gonna use later for some decorating. Obviously you can make a blue bunny as well if you need it, so I'm just gonna pop it to the side. Now, you need to start your folding. So to start with, you need to make a lovely triangle. So if you meet the bottom up to the top and make a triangle, and then if you unfold it, then we need to switch it around and we need to do the same again, just so that we've got some fold lines ready for the section that we're going to do in a second. So when I open it up, you can see that you've got two lines like that. Right, now I'm gonna fold my triangle up this way and I'm gonna keep it like that so you can make this line a really, really good strong fold. I'm then gonna hold the bottom of it, just of my first triangle, and you're gonna come down to the line, your halfway line, and you're gonna make me another fold here. Now that's a really good strong fold as well because we need to keep that one. We're then gonna get both of these corners and we're just gonna fold it in to the side. Now you need both sides for that one and you need that one to be a strong fold too, but then we're gonna open it up and the same on the other side so meet it up in the middle nice strong fold like that and then open it back up now we're going to get this corner and we're going to put our finger in the middle and we're going to make another triangle like that so there's one there again keep that on a nice strong fold and then this one is coming up to meet this top one here oh bit tricky bit tricky meet that one there like that oh over, over, over as far as it will go. <laughs> there we go. Keep that on a nice strong fold as well. There we are. And then we've made our lovely diamond shape or oh, square if you spin it that way. Now I've got my two top bits here that we made those folds for earlier. They're going inside this pocket. So this is the trickiest bit. You might need someone to help you with this. If you fold it down in through the middle, then you've already got that fold line that you already made from earlier. Fold that one down into the middle. And there you have the top of your bookmark. Now, it doesn't look like much yet, but that's the bit that we stick over the corner to keep our place when we're reading. Now, we've got the fun bit. We've got to make it actually look like our bunny. So I'm going to do that. You can obviously decorate it however you want to. And then I will see you in a second. there you have it a lovely little book corner that you can put on the corner of your favorite book pop it onto the end look you just flip the corner right up into the middle there and then that will keep your space ready for the next time when you're ready to read you can obviously make these into any animal you like online i've seen some hedgehogs i've seen some ducks i've seen some chicks you can make them whatever animal you want obviously just change your color piece of paper but it's really really easy to do hope you'll have a lovely easter break i'll see you there you have it a lovely little book corner